hello and welcome um, again to my channel study bus in this video i will be discussing the figures of speech used in the poem night of the scorpion written by nasim ezekiel in my previous video i have uh, discussed the poem uh, in detail i gave you the explanation in this video i will discuss only the figures of speech used in the poem okay so let's start uh okay in the second uh, stanza uh, i have just underlined it uh, mm, this figure of speech is personification diabolic tail and he risked the rain again it is again a um, personification uh in third stanza the, you can see the peasants came like swarms of flies this is simile because the word like is used here uh, and uh, the word burst is an imagery and the phrase a hundred times is uh, is a hyperbole again in the third line the evil one is a metaphor because uh, it is a direct uh, comparison without the use of words like uh, such like as in the next stanza you can see the giant scorpion shadow is again a mat uh, metaphor because uh, it is a direct comparison they clicked their tongues again imagery now uh they said they said they said they said again and again repeated uh, it is called epiphora epiphora is like uh, when 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 a phrase or a word uh, repeatedly used in the end of a sentence that is epiphora and here you can see it is uh, in uh, yellow color may 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 and uh, here again may and then more more when a word or a phrase uh, repeatedly used in the beginning of a sentence it is called anaphora so in this poem the poet has used both the anaphora which is the beginning of a sentence and the epiphora which is in the end of a sentence so i have given here different colors okay now again more candles more lanterns is imagery i watched i watched repeated in two uh, sentences in the beginning so it is epiphora sorry anaphora okay so let's just have a look on metaphors the evil one and giant scorpion shadows personification is diabolic tail he is the rain again uh, flame feeding and uh, tame similes swarms of flies like swarms of flies which is used in the poem imagery imagery is a vivid language that appeals to the senses imagery is a literary device which includes languages which are descriptive it functions as a way for the reader to imagine the world of literature in a better way it also adds symbolism in the piece of art imagery is drawn upon the five senses which consist of taste smell touch sight and sound it helps the better it helps helps in better ima imaginings of the artist world in his work examples of imagery uh, uh, used in the uh, poem like burst is a sound imagery shadows is a uh, is is imagery again you can uh, uh, imagine uh, how shadows look like they clicked their so uh, tongues again sound imagery and more candles and more lanterns is smell imagery hyperbole now what is hyperbole it is uh, an exaggerated statement which is not meant to be taken literally which is not to be taken uh, seriously literally it is a hyperbole it is exaggeration example of hyperbole is a hundred times when poet says that uh, they they the the villagers when they gathered uh, uh, to uh, look for uh, the poet's mother they started taking the name of god 
hundred times they they were taking name of god again and again irony so what is the irony in the uh, uh, poem the irony is the statement which has the meaning opposite to what is literally said it creates humor and examples of irony are when when uh, when uh, poet says that the piece of understanding on each face this is the stanza where he he said that they were talking the the villagers were talking about the previous birth about the next birth and about uh, how uh, it can purify the um, uh, the flesh of desires uh, and the spirits of ambitions and they they talk about many things and after uh, after giving their opinions and after, after uh, like showing their different beliefs they were not able to help uh, the poet's mother so they um, this statement the piece of understanding on each face is an irony because they could not understand what to do they could not help her actually and a skeptic and rationalist these two words are used for poet's father uh, and these are uh, like contradictory terms used together and uh, alliteration used in poem like you can see parting with his poison he risked the rain again and uh, you can see p p is repeating in the first statement r r is repeated in the second statement poison and purify again p p repeated hyper herb and hybrid again h repeated flame feeding f repeated more candles more lanterns more again and again the word more 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 is repeated anaphora is the repetition of a word or uh, a phrase at the beginning of successive clauses and epiphora is uh, it is also known as epistrophe it is a rhetorical term for the repetition of a word or a phrase that uh, at the end of a successive clause so the combination of anaphora and epiphora is called as simplos so uh, simply you can say that in this poem in this uh, poem the the poet has used epiphora and anaphora both so it is a simplos and the last one is uh, onomatopoeia these are uh, like sounds uh, buzzed and clicked okay so these are all the literary uh, devices and figures of speech used in the poem thanks for watching